Good morning, good afternoon. Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press presenting a very um, simple puppetry project for young children. Uh, it is good, very good for uh, children in preschool or in kindergartens or probably in a daycare. So these are the puppets. We have one here and we have another one. They are called cylinder puppets. These cylinder puppets are made out of cardboard like this, corrugated cardboard, just stuck together like that, painted before, and then stuck like that. I'll show you the, the, the process. But it, they cylinder puppets, it's just a cylinder, it's, it's open there, so you can put your hand and play around with your friends, make up a, a play, or tell a story with your puppet in the classroom, or at home with your brothers or sisters. For this project, we need uh, just a few things. It could be mainly recyclable materials. Like, for instance, we have a piece of uh, corrugated cardboard here, which is good because it, it draws up nicely. Or it could be a box that I have cut and painted. And we can probably fold it up like that and make it into a puppet with square body. And the other thing that you could use that is really, really available everywhere is a milk carton. Just cut the milk carton, uh, paint it or glue some paper, some colored paper on, and that will be a very cheap and easy body to make. Okay, we, we talk about materials a little bit. Um, also, there are other bits that we can, after we have painted the body, like these ones, we use this, this paint called Chroma 2. So you can do it in two ways. You can actually put some paint on a tray. This is a fish and, fish and chip tray, like that, or any tray. And just with the roller, roll it up and down like that. Roll up and down, up and down, up and down, and then apply the paint into the cardboard like this. But if, if you don't have the, the tray and the roller, we can also paint. So uh, I'll paint a blue with a, a little paintbrush about that big, not, not very big. Just apply this um, painting like this will take longer to dry, but you can let it dry overnight and it will be perfect the following day. That's painting. So when you finish and when it's dry, it will look like this. Really good coverage, very good color. These are the possibilities for these puppets. Uh, a head made out of stocking, um, bits and pieces there uh, with uh, some details like a, a collar, the mouth, the boots made out of felt, and some ribbon across, We've got two pockets. Hair could be wool, could be that kind of wool or this kind of wool, or it could be even paper, color paper if you want to. Uh, this one got um, some arms there. You can stick some arms and got buttons. So uh, there are possibilities um, to use recyclable materials, uh, color paper, all kinds of things. It's a matter of using your imagination. We have a very nice glue here called Chroma 2 glue. And it's very thick, especially for kindergarten and daycares. So what you do, you apply the glue like that like this, and then join the other part here, like that. So it will give us that a square a shape that we are looking for. But before doing that, it's good, and this is a very good technique to join things, whether it is timber or if you're working with a cardboard like this, you glue first and then a bit of masking tape on the top, like that until it dries, like this one. I didn't take the masking tape off because I just wanted to show you. This one was blue like that and then the masking tape across. When it dries, it peels off like that. And it's perfectly glue because this glue is very, very good glue for young children like you because it's, it doesn't run. Now, what do we need next? The head. So I'll show you how to do the head. For the head, I got a piece of stocking, old stocking, or could be even old socks. So I got this bit here, which is um, 
It could be uh, an old pillow, come from an old pillow or an, o an old cushion, the stuffing like that. So the head will be got more stuffing because it has to be big and you are going to need help from mom or dad or from your teacher to do a knot. So we are going to make a knot here, like that, oops. It's, it's a bit tricky, so you need help from mom da or dad or, or your teacher. Here is the body that I painted before, and here I have the head. And that will sit right on the top here. And when the head sits on the top there, we are going to apply the glue. So the best thing to do is just apply the glue while the head is right there. You see, I'm rotating. I'm rotating and applying lots of glue because eventually it will dry and it will keep that head in place. The glue will dry clear so you don't have to worry about how much glue do you put on. And ready to put the face on. I have done the face this way. So I did a face with two little bottle leaves a bit of um, felt, uh, a triangle for the mouth. And for hair, I could do that. Or I'd probably, if I found some nice paper like this, I could tear some paper like that. A bit, bit messy like that. Just tear the paper. and just twist it, glue it. Wow, it's lovely, isn't it? It will stay there, it will, it, the glue will, will stay, will take a little while to dry. I got some uh, different bits and pieces here for more details. This, this is the detail stage. I'll give him some boots. Some black boots, really, really simple. That's my black boot there. And just there, a bit further up, push it up. There. Now, I'm getting glue on my hands, so it's important to have a rag. And the other boot there. This time, I'm applying the glue to the body because it's, e it's easier. Another boot, here, oops, came up, to the body, and press. And I have a bit of blue paper here. Mm, I could do something like that. You have to use your imagination to see what would you like to, to create. What is your puppet going to be like? So a bit more paper there. And I got some hands, green hands. I just apply the glue here. You can apply on the table. It will be easier for you to apply the glue on the table, flat. And a green hand there. Then another bit of glue on the flat here, on the table. And the other hand that way. And um, probably a bit of red. Again, applying the glue on the table, lift up, pick up a buckle for the, for, the, for the belt. And that's it. This is the new puppet here. And that will play with this and that. And you see all the possibilities. Some eyes can be made out of felt. Some eyes can be buttoned. These eyes are made out of little tiny bottle cups. Paper, um, Hair can be made out of paper or wool. So many, many possibilities. Use your imagination. Thank you very much for watching and happy puppy making. Bye-bye. <laughs>